And we're back. Mike Stern, Rich Danger and Play dot com Gorilla Mindset. The government is creating a literal ministry of propaganda. Unlike the fake news media, I actually read the laws before I comment on them. So let me show you what the government has cooking. Can you smell what the government is cooking? What we're doing right now, we're, we are reading something called the Portman Murphy Act, which was passed in the Senate. They're trying to get through the House right now. H.R. 5181. So let's go ahead and scroll down to the highlight provision. They would literally create a center for information analysis and response. Okay, this is a ministry of propaganda, guys. This is literally happening right now in America. In America, they're creating um, a ministry of propaganda to cover, you know, they call it countering foreign propaganda and disinformation, all right? So you can find all this for yourself right here. Congress.bill, you know, just look it up. Look up HR 5181. I'm on the official Congress website. I'm not making any of this stuff. To counter foreign disinformation and propaganda and for other purposes right there. So you can go ahead and read it for yourself. So basically they're saying, you know, Russia, my Russia. The Russian memes now are going nuts. The media is going crazy. So Russia is going crazy, right? Oh my God, Russia. Now another thing you're going to see here is I've been warning you. How long have I been warning you? Ukraine. Ukraine, okay? Who here? Who here has remembered me in an earlier Periscope? Who here remembers me in Periscope warning you about the Ukraine and how Ukrainian oligarchs were really long time ago guys so those of you who are those of you who are new here talk to the old the OGs I told you that the Ukraine was trying to start World War III with Russia sure enough we have legislation in the house right now trash in Russia because of the Ukraine all right I've been telling you guys this for a long time People, you know, they don't want to listen to me. It's very frustrating to watch my country going into another World War III. And I just keep warning people about the Ukraine and Russia, and people really don't want to listen, you know. So here's what they do. They're going to create a center for information and response. I kid you not. It's a propaganda. It's a propaganda ministry. This is right. This is literally right in 1984. Go ahead and read it. H.R. 5181. In the Senate, it's called the Portman Murphy Act. They're going to create a Center for Information and Response. Not later than 180 days after it's enacted, the Secretary of State, blah, 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 are going to create this little center, okay? They're going to create a Center for Analysis and Response. Paid trolls, bros. Paid trolls. This is all here. You know, you, what, what is it going to do? It's going to identify emerging and current trends in social media. And it's going to give money. It's going to give money. Hold on, let me let me find you here. G R. They call them grants, of course. In government speak, you call these grants, right? They never just say we're going to give them money. So where where the hell? Here we go. Where the hell did it go? Yeah, access fund grants right here. Where the hell? There we go. They're going to call it information access fund grants. So basically, they're going to pay think tanks and other propaganda outlets money to run psyops on people and to lie to people. So you can just see grants. And the amount of money is something like 20 million bucks. Um, something like that. Here, let me see if I can find you the exact amount of money. The last time I read it, it was $20 million, but these things change quickly. Yeah, there you go. So right here, $20 million, okay? All right, so there you go. Um, you can read it all for yourself. They're going to give $20 million to fund fake news and to fund fake journalism. Now, you want to see something mind-blowing? You know, always mind-blowing, right? Right now, right now, go to Mike Tracy's Twitter. Mike Tracy is one of the only journalists I respect in media, even though Mike Tracy hates Trump. Uh, Mike Tracy hates the alt-right. I'm pretty sure he hates me, too. But you know what? I don't care. I don't take things personally. Why? Because I'm not a 15-year-old child, right? So let's go to Mike Tracy. Let's go to Mike Tracy. 
these little, uh, so Mike Tracy is basically trying to talk some sense into people saying there's actually no proof that Russia hacked the election. Alex Ward is arguing with him. He wants to talk shit about Russia. So let's go to Alex Ward. Well, I already did that earlier. He works for the Atlantic Council. He works, works, for, works for the Atlantic Council, all right? Now, you want to see a mind-blowing thing right in action? See, here's the thing, guys. The conspiracy theory is right in front of you. The Atlantic Council was one of the big sponsors of, of guess what they were the big sponsor of? Let me scroll down the old Twitter, the old Twitter stream a little bit. So we'll keep going uh, somewhere down here. Uh, I'm, I'm sort of, all right, where the hell did it go? Anyway, the Atlantic Council was a big sponsor of the act, right? Of the same propaganda bill. I don't know where the hell it went. I retweeted earlier. So I was going to give you a nice little, you know, nice little surprise. But anyway, you can go find that on, you can go find that on my periscopes. So the Portman Murphy Act was um, talked up at the Atlantic Council. The Atlantic Council is a pro-World War III think tank. And they're now trolling Twitter. You can watch it right in real time. They're now trolling Twitter. They're now trolling Twitter to try to get people to believe that Russia is responsible for hacking the election. I mean, unbelievable. No, I'm not going to lower my voice. Cyber likes my voice. It's the whole reason I do the periscopes. It's the whole reason I do... You guys, you guys hit the jackpot. I thought I was going to have to quit doing periscopes, but my voice actually calms her. So it was really the opposite. But anyway, this is... We are literally having... I'm not screaming in her ear, guys. Her ear is right here. Nice try, though. Nice try. Any more, any, any more unsolicited parenting tips will be met with the block because I'm giving you information about stopping World War III and you want to tell me that I'm talking loud. Does she look, does she look, she looks pretty comfortable to me. Let's take a look. Hey, Syra. Hey, Syra, random internet people are telling me things about you. They've never met you. What do you think about that, Syra? What do you think? Oh, okay. That's what she thinks. She thinks you're a cuck. That's what that's what she has to say about. Come on. Okay. Well, I don't know. That'd be a funny word to teach her. <laughs> so she seems oh a okay. She seems a okay with the volume. But back to what really matters. You can see right now, in real time, this World War Three crap with Ukraine. You can see it's right there. There is a Ministry of Propaganda. I forget what the hell they're calling it. Center for Information Response. I don't know what it's called. But you can read it right there. All you have to do is pick up pick up the legislation or read it. And you will see that our government is creating a propaganda ministry. To troll social media. To um, pay for op-eds to be... Yeah, she's a cutie, huh? Here, we'll get her. We'll get her. We'll get her. We'll get her zoomed in. Hey. <laughs> right there, right? Well, that is the periscope in, in action. She loves the periscopes. I mean, trust me, Sean is in the same room. That's the interesting thing about the unsolicited parenting advice. Shauna is two arms length away from me. If I were doing something, being too loud for the baby, you really, you really think the mom over there wouldn't have something to say about that? Be very, very careful giving me unsolicited advice about branding, marketing, messaging, Basically anything. <laughs> Basically anything I talk about, right? Because I, I don't talk about things unless I actually know what I'm talking about. So I don't... Oh, she's cute, huh? Whoa, she is a cute kid, huh? Yeah, so she's pretty happy. We don't need any advice on periscoping parenting. Anyway, um, go look up the information for yourself. It is the weekend. On Monday, we're going to have to call Congress. On Monday... On Monday, we are going to be jamming the phone lines, okay? Monday, we are calling Congress. We are going to let them know that this act is designed, because ultimately, I'll tell you where this is going to head. Not only does it create a ministry of propaganda, but then what they're going to do is say, according to the Center for Information, whatever, the Ministry of Propaganda, these websites are Russian disinformation agents. And then what they're going to do is put us in prison if they can. Because anybody who, like me, who doesn't want World War III with Russia is going to be called 
is going to be called Russian propaganda because we opposed World War III. You know, idiotic. But that's what's heading down the line. I've been warning you. I've been warning you about this Ukraine stuff. we got to call Congress. That's all we can do. Is this more fake news from Cernovich? You're blocked because we just literally... We just literally... This is how the propaganda agents that I have here in all my periscopes. I've literally... Even though I know that it's a wrong to use the word literally, you know, we've lost that war. Just like begging the question really means assuming the premise, but actually now people say, well, it begs the question to be asked. Well, guess what? Literally is here to stay. We literally just looked at the law, the legislation. We literally just read the law together, and I explained it, and people want to call it fake news, right? You can, And that shows you how many people... It just goes to show you how many propaganda agents read all of my Twitter and all my periscopes and lie. They're saying, they're, they're t trying to say that Cernovich is spreading fake news again. We just read the law on Congress's own website. That just goes to show how desperate they are to discredit me and how desperate the, you know, here's, uh, hey baby, sure. yeah, she's good. So here's, here's a interesting thought experiment for you. Interesting thought experiment. For, to have a little bit of fun yesterday, just a little bit of fun, because I like to have fun. I posted dump Star Wars, okay? Apparently people were mad at Star Wars and I thought it'd be funny, you know, to start a boycott of Star Wars. Well, I didn't start it, other people did. So I thought it'd be fun just to post the dump Star Wars a few times. I even did one with the little clapping things like, stop giving your money to people who don't like you or something. I can't even remember. Just goofing off, right? I don't want Star Wars anyway, you know? There's no, there's, there's no moral courage. There's no moral courage with me to say, don't watch Star Wars because I don't watch it anyway. Why don't I watch Star Wars? Because I'm 39. Come on, guys. Get out of here. Why are you watching Star Wars anyway? So my media, like, notifications are blown up. People are doing articles. Wired wanted to write an article on me. Um, the Daily Beast, which is owned by Chelsea Clinton, is writing about me, calling me a neo-Nazi. Just you name it. You know, every Raw story, every Esquire, everybody's writing about me, right? Writing about dump Star Wars. How many articles have written about this ministry of propaganda, right? How many news articles are there about real issues that matter? Right? Think about that for a minute. Think about that for a minute. They are going nuts over a hashtag about dumb Star Wars, the fake news media. They're going crazy. You know, I even I even talked to this Wired reporter just you know to make fun of her a little bit. And I, I'll tell you what I tell you. I usually don't I usually don't take media inquiries because I was already I got my I got a profile in New Yorker. You know, so I usually don't take media inquiries because. Uh, what's the point? You know, I got the I got the profile in New Yorker. I got that social proof, so I don't I need to talk to these people. But sometimes I'll talk to them just to um, troll them a little bit. But I asked her, you know, so I said to her, I go, I go, Star Wars is a one hundred million dollar media budget. There have been like ten articles about me today. Why write about this? Who cares? There are real issues going on, and Star Wars can afford entire PR firms to back them. Is this why you went to journalism school? To White Knight for Star Wars? A Google News search says there are 10,900 stories about dumb Star Wars already. Why add to this? Have you read Chomsky? Is concentration of media ownership the reason media rushes to defend multi-billion dollar franchises? And then she kept going, well, why'd you write about it? And I said, I made a few tweets. It cracks me up this is newsworthy. Did you know Disney, which owns Star Wars, is one of six mega corporations that controls 90% of all media? That is the real story here. Dump Star Wars is a big deal only because, quote, journalists, unquote, must protect their corporate owners. And then I went on to just say, this is a dumb story. 10,000 people have written about it. Do we really need a hot take? And then finally I said, Branding advice. Nobody needs another hot take about how boycott Star Wars is a white supremacy conspiracy. So yeah, I mean, that's the reality that real issues like this, real issues, 
Yeah, of course it was in text. Because if they write a mean article about me, I'm going to print it and you know, make fun of her. So, I mean, that's the whole point. The way I do it is if, they're going to, if they write mean things about me, then I write mean things about them, and that's just the way it goes. But the broader point is that, yeah, I mean, that's just, <laughs> just kind of like my M.O. My M.O. is like, if you're nice to me, I'm nice to you. If you're mean to me, then I'm <laughs> a lot meaner to you. And I enjoy... Anyway, the broader story is why is some guy with a baby on his chest, why is some dad... Are you covered, Shauna? Can I, can, I, can I cut over to you? Yeah. Okay. Can they see you? Okay. Why is some random guy with a baby on his chest, the mom, baby mom over there, why am I blowing the whistle on this effort to create a propaganda industry and to create a ministry of propaganda? Right? Why am I doing this on a Friday night, man? I ask myself, believe me, Shauna asked me that too. She's just like, what are we doing, babe? But I'm like, I know we have no choice, though, because the media wants World War III with Russia, and I don't want nuclear war. Call me crazy. Call me crazy. But there's, you know, thousands of articles about a stupid hashtag on Twitter, Dump Star Wars, that I don't even care about. I'll be completely honest. I'm going to troll you. I'm going to say if you go watch Star Wars, you're supporting people who hate you and you're a cuck. Truth is, I don't really care. Go do what you want to do, you know? I, I read books written by liberals. They probably don't like me, you know? I, probably Trump doesn't like me, you know? I'm an edgy guy. I'm an edgy guy. I probably caused Trump a little bit of drama. A lot, a lot of people, Mike Tracy I don't think likes me. I don't care. Mike Tracy had 10,000 Twitter followers before I started boosting him. The guy's got like 55,000 Twitter followers, man. I'm pretty sure he thinks I'm a maniac. I don't really care about any of this stuff. I'm not a child. So go watch Star Wars or not. I don't care. It's just I post it to a dumb hashtag. And that is news. Right? That is news. But real issues like the government creating a propaganda ministry. They don't want to talk about that. That's the real problem with media right now. That is the real, that is the real problem with media. They don't want to talk about real issues, man. They want to talk about dumb boycott, Twitter boycott of Star Wars, as if I really care. You're like, oh, you got me. Oh, you know. But that is all they care about. When it comes to actual issues that matter, they don't even have any thoughts. So they are so vapid. They live empty, meaningless lives. It's kind of pathetic, actually. I mean, imagine you go to, imagine this, imagine this. I'm, I'm going to run out of power anytime. I'm going to run out of power at any moment. So if, if this transmission is cut off, it wasn't because of Russia, okay? It wasn't because of Russia if the transmission is cut off just because my phone went dead. And my Mophie, my Mophie's dead. So imagine you go to journalism school. You're thinking, I'm going to go to journalism school and I'm high-minded and I'm going to speak truth to power. I'm going to speak truth to power. I'm a journalist. And you know what you're doing? You're DMing Mike Cernovich because he posted a couple times to the hashtag Dump Star Wars. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's your life, you know? You think that you're just going to be some kind of like truth teller. You're going to raise hell, speak, speak truth to power, and you're sliding into my DMs. Asking me why I posted to the dump Star Wars hashtag. That's their lives, man. That that is their lives, dude. How pathetic. How pathetic. How pathetic are journalists? Can you? I can't overstate. I can't overstate how just absolutely pathetic the the fake news media is. That is what they want to write about. Dump Star Wars a hashtag on Twitter. That isn't even real journalism. Mike, why'd you post to the hashtag? Mike, you're this. Mike, you're that. Get out of here. Why don't they actually do real journalism like I'm doing? Why don't they do real journalism and actually read legislation and ask why the federal government is trying to create a ministry of propaganda? Right? I'll tell you why. Because they are owned by the big corporations. They aren't journalists. They are PR. They are P PR agents. Yeah, guys, I know. I was an associate producer of The Red Pill. Go watch Stefan Molyneux. Stefan Molyneux and Cassie J. They are talking about The Red Pill film. 
which I was an associate producer on. True story. A lot of people don't know it. A lot of people don't know it, but the film wasn't going to get it funded, so I put up ten grand of my own money and offered to match ten grand in contributions of my my readers. So we raised twenty grand at least, probably way more than that. Yeah, and I'm an associate producer of the Red Pill. So go watch the and I watched the Red Pill. It's great. It's well shot, well directed, graphics are cool. Really good, really good film. So you definitely want to watch the Red Pill. And go watch Cassie J's interview with Stefan Molyneux. Yes, the baby is peaceful. Why? Because she loves her dad. Well, just look at her. This is what I do all day. I just kind of stare at her. Yeah, this is, this is life now. This is life. Troll on Periscope. Troll on Twitter. With the baby, man. It's a good life. I got no complaints. Russia. Now, another thing you're going to see here is... I've been warning you. How long have I been warning you? Ukraine. Ukraine, okay? Who here? Who here has remembered me in an earlier Periscope? Who here remembers me in Periscope warning you about the Ukraine and how Ukrainian oligarchs were a really long time ago, guys? So those of you who are those of you who are new here, talk to the old the OGs. I told you that the Ukraine was trying to start World War III with Russia. Sure enough, we have legislation in the House right now trashing Russia because of the Ukraine. All right, I've been telling you guys this for a long time. People, you know, they don't want to listen to me. It's very frustrating to watch my country going into another World War III. And I just keep warning people about the Ukraine and Russia, and people really don't want to listen, you know. So here's what they do. They're going to create a center for information and response. I kid you not. It's a propaganda. It's a propaganda ministry. This is right. This is literally right in 1984. Go ahead and read it. H.R. 5181. And the Senate it's called the Portman Murphy Act. They're going to create a center for information and response. Not later than 180 days after it's enacted, the Secretary of State, blah, 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 are going to create this little center. Okay. They're going to create a center for analysis and response. Paid trolls, bros. Paid trolls. In America, they're creating um, a ministry of propaganda to cover, you know, they call it countering foreign propaganda and disinformation. All right. So you can find all this for yourself right here. Congress.bill, you know, just look it up. Look up HR 5181. I'm on the official Congress website. I'm not making any of this stuff to counter foreign disinformation and propaganda and for other purposes right there. So you can go ahead and read it for yourself. So basically they're saying, you know, Russia, my Russia, the Russian memes now are going nuts. The media is going crazy. So Russia is going crazy, right? Oh my God. This is all here. You know, you can. What, what is it going to do? It's going to identify emerging and current trends in social media. And it's going to give money. It's going to give money. Hold on, let me, let me find you here. G -R, they call them grants, of course. In government speak, you call these grants, right? They never just say we're going to give them money. So where, where the hell? Here we go. Where the hell did it go? Yeah, access fund grants right here. Where the hell? There we go. They're going to call it information access fund grants. So basically, they're going to pay think tanks and other propaganda outlets money to run psyops on people and to lie to people. So you can just see grants. And we're back. Mike Cernrich, Danger and Play dot com Gorilla Mindset. The government is creating a literal ministry of propaganda. Unlike the fake news media, I actually read the laws before I comment on them. So let me show you what the government has cooking. Can you smell what the government is cooking? What we're doing right now, we're, we are reading something called the Portman Murphy Act, which was passed in the Senate. They're trying to get through the House right now, H.R. 5181. So let's go ahead and scroll down to the highlighted provision. They would literally create... A Center for Information Analysis and Response. Okay, this is a ministry of propaganda, guys. This is 
literally happening right now in America. 